Welcome to the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Division of Plant Industry. We recently marked our 100 year anniversary and we'd like to take this opportunity to highlight the many accomplishments and challenges we faced over the years. So please join me as we present aspects of our history and the day-to-day -day operations of our division. The division was officially established in 1915 to address a newly diagnosed citrus disease, citrus canker, and the agency was charged with eradication efforts. As the years clicked by, we faced many plant pests and disease, implemented innovative programs to detect and intercept these pests, and conducted numerous successful eradication programs. With its 28 major ports, geographic location, unique climate, crop diversity, and increased trade, Florida has the misfortune to also be the recipient of an estimated two and a half new exotic plant pest species established into the state every month, each representing new U.S. and or state records. With the division's mission to protect Florida's native and commercially grown plants, as well as the state's apiary industry, addressing these ongoing threats is a daunting task. This video focuses on our diagnostic services, which are the lifeblood of our organization. The Division of Plant Industry has over 35 PhDs working full-time in 25 different laboratories, ranging from plant and insect identification labs to full-scale DNA sequencing labs. But the work doesn't start in the lab. In the field, DPI's staff of 300-plus plant inspectors annually conduct as many as 370,000 inspections on 17,500 nursery and stock dealer locations and service 56,000 exotic fruit fly traps every three weeks. What they find during these inspections and in these traps comprise most of the samples submitted for analysis. However, thousands more are received from other sources, including the public. Everything starts in the mailroom and quickly advances to the processing area where samples are separated. Once separated, the individual samples are delivered to the appropriate scientist for evaluation and diagnosis. First stop, botany. Our botany section identifies plants for the division, as well as for other governmental agencies and private individuals. The botany section maintains a reference herbarium with over 13,000 plants and 1,400 vials of seeds. A recent project with the University of Florida involved digitizing the complete collection for downloading to an international database. Next, it's on to entomology. The entomology section provides the division's plant protection specialists and other customers with accurate identifications of arthropods. This section also builds and maintains the Arthropod Reference and Research Collection, the Florida State Collection of Arthropods, with over 10 million specimens. The division maintains and builds the museum's collection, which houses specimens from around the world and is ranked among the top 10 North American entomological collections. Our nematology lab is a well-oiled machine that processes close to 20,000 samples annually. The lab conducts the diagnostic analysis of soil and root samples for the identification of phytoparasitic nematodes involved in regulatory certification programs, surveys, and problems caused by pest nematodes. This section maintains a comprehensive taxonomic filing system and is responsible for investigations concerning taxonomy, biology, non-chemical control methods, and spread of nematode plant pests. One thing to point out here is the importance of the history of diagnostics at the division. It's not only the state-of-the-art microscopes and sequencing equipment that contribute to the work, but access to historic documentation is essential as evidenced in the nematology lab. Well, the nematology lab started in the 1950s um, from a disease called spreading decline. They found out a nematode was causing in the orange groves. So our main responsibility is as a regulatory um, laboratory, and we provide certification for Florida growers throughout the state. Maintaining uh, sample integrity is very important for us, so that's why we not only use a database, as you can see here, we also have records going back to the 1960s where we keep every sample recorded in a logbook, and we use that on a daily basis. Our final ology is the plant pathology section. The goal of protecting Florida plant life very often begins with the accurate diagnosis of plant problems, whether caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Division scientists and lab technicians index seeds, budwood, and crops for endemic and exotic plant disease pathogens investigate the control, management, and or containment of plant diseases of regulatory importance, and survey for and respond to new plant disease threats. 
To give some perspective related to the volume of work accomplished in these labs, in 2017, just under 600,000 separate plant pest identifications were completed. 21 exotic species were detected within the state, all representing new U.S. and or state records, and an additional 63 detections of known exotic agricultural pests were made by our scientists at interdiction stations. Let's look at some of our critical diagnostic tools, and they're not all high tech. A recent meeting of our diagnostics team, including Citrus Budwood, demonstrates how the scientific team is continually working to improve and standardize methodologies to ensure the integrity of diagnoses and efficiency of operations. Our procedures are uh, somewhat um, involving a lot of steps and a lot of um, techniques. And what we've been noticing between the two bureaus is that our techniques are somewhat different. So the ability to come together today to talk about it, to synchronize what we are doing is going to serve as a template to actually go forward and provide the best diagnostic tool to make sure that no disease is transferred from our plants that we produce to the citrus industry so that um, they get the best clean plant. This example of how we work as a team to monitor, detect, identify, and record the information on the hundreds of thousands of samples we process is testament to the division's commitment to accomplish our mission and to the individual scientists and staff who do the work. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the important work the division does to protect Florida's agriculture and natural resources. And remember, stop by for a tour. There's a lot to see.